Hola, buenas tardes. Good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning a diva. And today I'm in my big happy planner, my flagship planner. And don't you just love this Lucky Charms cover with the sparkly vinyl on top of it? Oh my goodness, I just did this. This was a complete spur of the moment DIY project. This lovely Sunday evening. I love Lucky Charms. It's my absolute favorite cereal and I had just finished um, a big box of Lucky Charms. I usually don't buy cereal. I don't eat cereal but I found a Lucky Charms in my local Aldi. Aldi is like a grocery outlet and they kind of change the products that they have any given week and I found Lucky Charms one week and so I was just in the mood to eat Lucky Charms and so I picked up a box of Lucky Charms. It's been years since I've eaten Lucky Charms but I, I love Lucky Charms. Anyways, once I finished the box, I felt like this would be such a cute planner cover and so I cut out the front of the cereal box Place some sparkly vinyl on it, punched it, and then I, I put um, scrapbook paper. This is like a four leaf clover theme, and then I put some washi tape around the edges to cover up that like brown cardboard um, backside of the cereal box, and I think it turned out so, so cute. Although honestly, this is a very rough prototype. I think I would do this again. Like I would go out and get that box again and then I would be a lot more careful with how I cut out the front cover. And I'd be very, very careful about how I laid down the sparkly vinyl. But I just did this as like a first go around and I think it looks super, super cute. It's very rough around the edges because I was not careful at all about cutting this out and setting this up. I was just experimenting and playing with it, but I think I'll try this again at some later point in my life and I'll be very, very careful of how I cut things out and I'll just take my time with it and I will create a much nicer, cleaner version. It's a little bit wonky on the edges here. I mean, I don't mind it at all, but I can definitely make this a lot cuter. Anyways, I'm in my flagship planner today and I need to set up the March monthly. So we're into March today and I have a Disney color block um, seasonal planner from the Happy Planner. Um, it's so green. I love it. And I love the four leaf clovers running up and down the spine. Very cute. It's getting me into spring vibes and I just can't wait to just have the weather warm up. And yes, I'm so excited for March and I have a lot of things going on um, in this month. So I need to set up my March monthly. And then I think what I'm going to do is plan out what I want to do for each of these weeks in March. This is something that I've seen Desiree do from Happy to Plan with Desiree. She kind of sets up the theme for each week in any given month. And I kind of want to do that because sometimes I feel like at a loss about what I want to do. And then sometimes I forget that certain things happen on certain weeks like St. Patrick's Day. Um, the first day of spring is on the 20th here, so I kind of want to think about what it is I want to do for each month. And I am going to be using my new Simply Gilded sticker collection and their washi tape. I also have Cafecito Designs washi in here as well. But um, Simply Gilded came out with my absolute dream of a collection. They came out with a Lucky Charms collection, which <laughs> judging from the cover of my planner right now, you know how I feel about Lucky Charms. And so when I saw that they came out with this Lucky Charm collection, I knew I had to use this for the monthly. I also have my All in a Season um, Mega Sticker Pack from the Happy Planner and my Seasonal Sticker Pack from the Happy Planner. So I have those. And I have essential dates and numbers just in case I need it. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I kind of want to cover this top section 
with washi tape. I just kind of want to cover the edges here with washi tape and then maybe put some stickers down the side here. I think this is the plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll probably speed this part up because it's not gonna be super interesting. And actually, let me take these pages off the rings and then we'll go ahead and set that up. Okay, so there we have it set up. And I just realized that this Essential Dates and Numbers sticker book is more numbers than month scripts. I mean, we have March right here, but I kind of don't like that script. So I'm going to go into my unique alpha fonts and find some nice fonts to spell out March here. Ooh, these rainbow ones look fun, but I think these are a little bit too big. And I don't think I have, have enough um, letters. I might have enough letters to spell out March. Let's see, <laughs> should we do it? Um, sure. When am I going to use these unicorn letters anyway? So, okay, M-A-R, and then we have a C, March, and then an H. Okay, we have enough letters. Now that was a choice. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. This is a rainbow explosion. Love it. Okay, and I'm going to have to use some of these um, stickers for the sidebar. These things are just gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Ugh, I love it. Simply charms. Ugh. Rise and shine. I love this so much. Today is your lucky day. This is probably one of my all-time favorite collections to ever grace the planner world. It's just so beautiful. Ugh, I love it. I love it so much already. Oh my goodness. This is exactly how I imagined it to be. Wow. Okay, as for the rest of the spread, as you can see, I have quite a bit going on here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, well, first of all, I totally forgot I had this washi tape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just lay down some washi tape here because I really love this washi tape. It's like a Lucky Charms washi tape and it's just so pretty. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and lay down some right here. Ah. Perfect. And I kind of want to use this washi tape as well. This is just like a rainbow books washi tape, also from Simply Gilded. This collection from Simply Gilded just knocked it out of the park for me. So I'm going to put some down here. Ooh, I kind of want to like have it across the entire bottom here. Is that too much? This spread is going to be really washy heavy. I really want to use this Cafecito Designs washi as well with the pot of golds. So let me see if I can add it around here somewhere. Um, like so. Ooh, so pretty going to add this right here as well. <gasps> beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. 
Next, I'm going to grab my seasonal sticker book, and I think I have all of my spring stickers in here still. I took out all the fall and winter stickers, but I think I still have my spring stickers in here. So let's see. Oh, so beautiful. These are so cute. Um, I kind of want to add this full box with the typewriter that says plant dreams, pull weeds, and plan a happy life. Um, I kind of want to add this, like maybe like right there. But I need to find boxes so that I can replace these sticky notes with actual boxes. These are good boxes. Let's see. I wonder if my seasonal sticker book has better boxes. Let's see. Oh, these are these are better. Yeah, I like these a lot more than the ones that other one has. Okay, so let's add some boxes before I add more decorative stickers. Oh, these are so cute. Um, okay, these boxes right here. I love them. Okay, um, first off, I have a trip out to the desert planned for the 5th. And then starting the 10th, we have a... Um, island an island retreat for work so i kind of want to make a note of that there oh look at this sticker i have to add this i definitely have to add this sticker um maybe like right here oh love that and then i have an event on the 18th oh my gosh this event is going to be so much fun it's the bark and brew event i'm definitely gonna have to vlog that but that is like uh an event in san diego where a bunch of breweries put on an event that is very dog friendly so a bunch of breweries set up like little tents for like beer tasting and then it's like a dog event like people bring their dogs like you're supposed to bring your dogs and it's just a bunch of dogs and beer together and it's on the bay it's wonderful i actually went the year before covid and it was fantastic and then i tried going the year after covid so that was last year 2022 and actually, and actually, I wasn't able to go for that event because originally I was going to go. It was, it usually happens in mid-March and I was scheduled to go, but then they rescheduled it because there was so much interest in the event. They had so many people interested and in buying tickets. They decided to reschedule the event to a date in June and then to a larger venue. And I wasn't able to go because that was the day after my surgery and I just didn't feel like I was able to go. So I'm so excited to go on Saturday the 18th. And then what else do I have going on here? We have a spring break trip planned for the 24th through the 29th. And I think I'm going to have to use a mild liner here and then kind of, ooh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, we'll work with it. I don't know, is it good? Ugh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, I didn't like that at all, that mild liner, so I'm going to cover it up with this washi tape. And I need this washi tape to stand in for um, how long different events are going to last. So for example, this um, retreat that we're going on, it's an island retreat for work and it's going to last from the 10th through the 12th. We sail out the 10th, we come back the 12th, and then also this trip to Sedona and the Grand Canyon on the 24th, that is going to last until the 29th, I believe. This is a lot of washi tape. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's add this. Perfect. Maybe I'll add a little sticker um, to kind of designate the day that we're coming back. So I'll add the sticker here on the 29th. Okay, and then I think I'm also hanging out with my friend Jess on Saturday. So I'm gonna write, so I'm gonna put down a sticker there. Um, let me go ahead and just write down all of these plans before I forget. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it so much so far. Um, I do want to add some of these like sparkly Lucky Charms stickers. Um, let me see, maybe one of these. I can maybe add this like right there. 
And then one of these over here. This bowl of cereal right there. Maybe the blue moon right there. Purple horseshoe right here. The pink heart can go right there. Ooh, I love, oh, I have to add the little like four leaf clover. Um, I'll add this right here. And then oh, I have to add this like Sunday topped with the marshmallows. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna add that right there. So cute. I love it so much. Maybe I'll add some of these gold foil stickers. And do you hear my pugs just snoring in the background? They are so loud, but they refuse to be anywhere other than here right next to me. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, I'm pretty much nearing the end of what I can add to this spread. I'm just going to add this super cute clear sticker that says you make it rain rainbows. Um, I really want to add this bunny sticker that says go after your dreams. Let's see, where can I add this? Maybe right here. I'll add that right there. I kind of want to add this spring is in the air sticker right here on, on top of the first day of spring. So maybe like that. And I also really like this tulip sticker. So I think I'll add it right there. Oh, I totally forgot that this is St. Patrick's Day right here. Oh well, I, I should have dropped down a St. Patrick's Day sticker there, but it's all right. Okay, I just have to add this pot of gold sticker. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Let me add this right there. And I wonder if I can add these eggs somewhere. These eggs are just so adorable. Let's see, do I have room? I don't think I have room. <laughs> Maybe like right there. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop because I want to leave enough room for myself to journal as well as to add more stickers. I know, even more stickers. And I love it. I'm in love. So let me go grab my crop it out punch so I can punch out these holes here at the top. And then I'll just slip it into my planner. Oh, I love it. I just love how it turned out. It's exactly what I envisioned. I think it's so, so cute. And I am so ready for spring. And can I just add a carrot around here? Can I just please add this little carrot? Let me just add this like right there. So cute. Okay, I said I was going to set up each of these weeks or just kind of like roughly plan out what each week is going to be. So I think I will grab, let's see, what's a good sticky note to use? I like these actually, these would be perfect. So let me grab four. One, two, three, four. Let's flip back to March. Okay, so this week here, honestly, I think this week I am going to do a pressed florals spread. I think a pressed floral spread will be perfect because I am going to check out the wildflowers blooming in the desert this weekend. And so I think flowers will be a good um, theme for that week. And then the following week, this is the weekend I'm going to the island. We're going to the Channel Islands as part of our um, annual lab retreat. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a general spring theme. Mm, yeah, nothing too fancy. I could do like an island theme, but honestly I'm not really feeling like doing an island theme because I feel like island themes are very summer and this is still very spring. And then this weekend I definitely want to do another uh, Lucky Charms um, St. Patrick, um, spread. So I will do that there. And then this week, oh, we have two more weeks left. This is, um, the week of spring. So I think I'm going to do another spring spread here as well. And then let me grab another sticky. This last week here, this is the week that we're going to be in Arizona. Um, so I think I'm going to make this a desert theme, desert theme. Okay. 
and then that will take us into April. And for April, I'm actually using my seasonal planner. I've been kind of switching in and out of using the seasonal vertical planner. Um, this is the one with the colorful spine and it's going to be interesting to get back into a vertical after so many months in the color block. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and spending so much time with me. I love how this spread came out. I'm obsessed with it. It's getting me in the mood for another bowl of Lucky Charms. Anyway, thank you so much once again for supporting me and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye!